to episode four for the Traveling to Ataras. This week's episode, we are planning on staying at four parks in under one week, which is quite a big task to do when you have a busy lifestyle like ours. But we wanted to make this happen as we are excited to head inland and make our way down to South Australia. What you are seeing now is a beautiful Williams River down at Williams River Holiday Park in Clarence Town. This is both a beautiful fishing spot and also a place where people come to swim. Been saving every penny for to make up through the fall. Working for that dollar, but I never had to up at all. Coming around the river banker, the old train was so sane. The very next thing. This section of Williams River Holiday Park, you can stay down here on an unpowered site. And the beauty of that is the river is right at your doorstep. Now this bridge is the only way into the holiday park and the only way out. If you are an experienced traveller, it probably would not intimidate you, but for me it definitely did. Jamie handled it like a champ. Welcome back. It is another pack up day here. I'm just cleaning up. I have done all the dishes. Kids are all fed. Just about to do the vacuuming. Um, they're just sitting here at the kitchen table. And we start to make all the beds and open all the curtains. Down here their homeschool stuff gets stacked. Her fan, um, sorry the bedroom fan. Just waiting for that sink to dry out a little bit more and then I'll be stacking everything in making sure everything sort of goes in like Tetris style and then we start to work on the outside so the TV I put under my pillow I know that's a bit naughty um, <laughs> but that's where it goes for now so pack up day we usually like to get done within an hour um, that's our aim anyway might go an hour and a half sometimes but that's sort of the time frame we have I'll meet you back here in a so minute. this is something Jamie did Put a little hook in there with this, whatever these are called. <laughs> Hold on. I try to do this with one hand, one hand. Anyway, so you get that and you hook it across into there. And then that doesn't move anywhere while we travel. Then I got this. This is where the kids like to play and stuff. So they were using this yesterday. The um, camera in the hand. But that will then go into the shower for the shower head to sit on. So these are really, really cool and really cheap and easy as well. Um, so I'll show you that once I set that up. A little back. bit tidy, a little bit messy, a little bit tidy. That's all good. So, sorry, the kids are out there. So I put the um, bowl there and I put the shower head in there. And then I lock that. Windows are down, latches are all shut, vacuum secured, and then I lock that. I clear, make sure everything's cleared, that's all secured. These need to be moved. Just leave it there. Windows are all down. We are pretty much good to go down this end, making sure the door's latched. Fridge isn't going to open. That's all nice and dry, so I'll put everything in there. Bed's pretty much good. Oh, got to open these windows. It's all bloody go. This is the way. So this is the power cord, the last to go in. Uh, car's hooked up. Just gonna put the awning up, take the brackets off. Uh, we'll just have a general look around, see if the kids have lost any toys underneath the van. <laughs> Rocco hasn't left any surprises. <laughs> now we're good to go. And also making sure the chocks are removed. I seen a caravan the other day um, go over their chocks and, and break them. He's excited. He gets a bit funny when it's travel day because he knows we're going. Good boy. How to pick up the uh, taps, roses. These genius little bags, they're like all curved. And so all you're doing is just putting it around like that. At the end of it, be solid. So that's the waste, the water, the electrical. All right, we are just leaving Williams River, Clarence Town. 
turn right on huh? East Seaton Road. I've got that wrong. Um, and anyway, have a look at the bridge that you have to come in and out of. I'm going to slow down because it's a one-way street. It's a one-way bridge, I should say. Sorry. Okay, looks like we're good. This is making me feel sick already. <laughs> this is unbelievable. And it's super skinny, and it probably doesn't look like that, but it is. Oh, and Jamie's taking it fast. Oh, I actually feel like I'm going to vomit. We're not. And that's where people swim down there, so there's a few jetties and stuff to jump off of. Um, Freaking awesome. I feel nervous as heck. Oh. God, every time. And that's it. A little bit early in the trip for Corrugated Rose, I thought, but here we are. We're on our way out and there's, it just goes all the, all the way up. So we're just going very, very, very slowly. And we have arrived. You're sitting under my umbrella at the moment. We have arrived at Belmont Park. You can see a pelican out there. It's chilling. It's started to rain, which is never enjoyable when you're trying to unpack everything in the rain. So the first thing we did was get into our spot. May or may not have taken about 50 times to get into it. It's a really awkwardly shaped spot. But so we are slowly unpacking right now. The awning is out. Rocco's still in the car. Window is still smashed, if you are wondering. We're just waiting to hear back at the moment from the people who are wanting to replace it. Um, so that's going to take a little minute to do. Anyway, there's Jemay. Hey, Jemay. <laughs> um, once we've unpacked and unhitched and all those things, we're going to go find the nearest supermarket and top up because we are completely running low um, on all of our supplies. Jamie's next job is to put all the hoses and stuff on. My job is to just stand under umbrella and GoPro. So, I don't know who has it harder. There's something that I always forget. These bloody things here. So you gotta have these to connect to these. And the amount of times I leave them. We've literally oh. stopped up. Yeah. <laughs> They're only three dollars each, but a bit, a bin, a doggy, a doggy path to go walk with. Here's an, here's another barbecue. Here's another bin on the road. Here's a girl shower. <laughs> here's a girl's toilet. And here's a barbecue. And there's the way out. Thank you. You're welcome. We are here. Oh, that all is. is it my frown line? Who knows? We are here. We've made it. The wind, the view from our window. Let me show you. Oh, I can't see. Let's check that out. So this is Lake Belmont in New South Wales. I have to keep remembering where I am. Um, and my God. Is all around there. It looks so beautiful. There are pelicans. There are pelicans in the water. So we have just unpacked. The kids are really good with their travel. They are really getting used to it. And um, got a little bit hairy near the end. Parking this thing was hard. We're just inside now though and I'm going to make some lunch. So one of our favorite lunches to make is rice and eggs and it is as simple as it sounds and it's freaking yum and the kids go crazy for it so I'm going to make it right now and I'll show you what it is. So I'm just rinsing our rice. My drain is not draining. I don't know why it's just happened but don't worry about that. I'm going to rinse this until the water goes clear and then I will put that in our rice cooker. So the rule I always learnt was that line, that top line in your finger, once the water reaches there, so just touch the top of the rice, let it touch that top line which is there, and that's how much water we'll need. Alright, my rice is all cooked, 
Now, to make these eggs, you need about that much butter. What is that much butter? I haven't measured it, but it's got to look like that. And when it gets all bubbly, then it's ready for your eggs. People will probably not appreciate how I make my scrambled eggs because I just mix them all up. Whereas Jamie is very, very restaurant quality with his scrambled eggs. They always look amazing. So I will come back and I will show you it being assembled in just a moment. So we start with a scoop of rice, however much you want. Then we will top that, excuse me, with some egg. And then she likes, what does she like? Mayo, Japanese mayo, which is this stuff, the QP mayo. And then pop with a little bit of cheese. And that is her done. That's it. I'll show you the other ones that we make as well. Put in some rice. We'll put in some eggs for him. We haven't got much stuff at the moment. Um, and then he will have everything. So Pimp my salad, hemp seasoning is the best. So I'll put on some of that. It's got nutritional yeast and hemp in it, which is like lots of protein and he's down for that. Um, I don't think he has cheese, so I'm gonna leave the cheese off of his, but we'll put some Japanese mayo in it as well. I'm gonna put this on my to-do list, get some more. Then some hoisin sauce. This is all stuff from Coles as well. much the last of that and then some bagel seasoning again from Coles and that's it there's no meat in there either and it's just so easy so freaking cheap I feel stick for, for showing you how simple it is but that is it Did somebody ask for some wholesome pelican content? Well, here it is. Enjoy. moments like these is our children are constantly learning which adds to their homeschool curriculum so it's a definite bonus and win-win for both of us. I got a hermit crab. Very very big. <laughs> it's got very snippy claws and it's very very green. That is so cool. It is. It's the biggest one I could find. I was going to go shell hunting for these ones and then I found one of these hermit crabs. I saw a shell moving, grabbed it and looked into it and a hermit crab's in it. So yeah. Nice. Yeah, thanks. arrived at our new spot. I should have actually filmed the drive and it was beautiful. I've gotten Jamie a little Kit Kat to say well done. Oh, I've been a good boy. <laughs> um, interesting we've not had these spaces before but that's cool. We've got a really beautiful sunny spot. They say not to park under branches but I don't reckon that'll be a problem. Anyway let me show you something real quick. Check this out. 
jumping pillow literally right across from where they're staying. So this is Tawoon Holiday Park. Isn't this beautiful? Kids are fanging to get over there, so we will get there very soon. But there's a beach literally over there. Uh, supermarket in this town, which is awesome. We're feeling really happy. You can probably hear it in my voice. I feel really, really happy to be here. Um, because the last place we stayed at just was a bit difficult with Rocco. While it was a beautiful spot, um, he just did not vibe with it. Anyway, we're here. All togs up and ready. No one's in here. Can you believe it? Let's get going. Lots of permanence here, but not a bad thing. And you can't quite see probably, but right through there's the beach. Cool spot. Park over there. This is the kind of place you really want to come to. Look up the kids. Here we go. Let's check it out. The pancake man was hilarious. What a character. We got five plates of them. Oh, that is good. Dutch. Is it? There you go. This is awesome because we barely ever have breakfast before we leave, so. Well, that is all from us for episode four. We hope you enjoyed it. We'll catch you next week.